As I said on the previous video, to begin your HODLer market creation process, you first need to go to the Definer app at app.definer.org on the top right corner of your screen. Once you're on the app, select the chain you'd like to create a market on. At the moment, the protocol is on four chains, including Ethereum, Binance, Polygon, and OKX, with plan plans to launch on more chains in the near future. In this case, in my case, I will be using the OKX chain testnet environment for demonstration purposes. However, you can find the same functions and configurations that I'm about to use in the other available chains on the Definer app. Moving on. Make sure that you're using the app under the HODLer tab at the top of your screen for the HODLer market creation options to appear. Now, this is the screen that you should have in front of you. On the top right corner, you'll see two buttons, create a market and configure markets. These are the buttons that you will use to create a HODLer market. Before we begin, please ensure that you have enough funds in your wallet for one, gas fees, which vary depending on the chain that you're creating your market on, and two, the HODLer market creation fee, which is fixed at $150 paid in the utility token of the chain that you're on. I'll talk more about this on our, our next video. And last but not least, three, the token that you want to create the HODLer market for. All of those, make sure to have them in your wallet. To start the market creation process, you will click on the create a market button at the top right corner of your screen. Once there, you will see three configurable sections, collateral, loan currency, and collateral factor. We'll look into these sections one at a time, starting with collateral. The collateral section is where you specify which will be the base token or collateral for your HODLer market. If you're coming from Project XYZ and want to create a market for the XYZ token, this is where you indicate it. First, click on the Select the Collateral drop-down. This list will show you a list of non-zero balance tokens in the wallet that you're using to create the HODLer market. If you're unable to find the token that you're creating the HODLer market for, just paste the address on this field. The right like this. The protocol automatically pulls the on-chain data for the token. After you click on the token, right here. In this case, I will, I will use the Definer Fin token for these purposes. Click on it and you will notice that, that a new function appears called Initial Oracle Price right here. The HODLer market has a dynamic Oracle model with three types of Oracle price feeds. Third Party, Dex Tiwa, and Definer Fixed Price Oracle. This three type Oracle price feed model opens the door for any token to have a lending market, which factors into the liquidation mechanism of your market. When you set up your market, you will set up the price based on the market price of your token at the time of HODLer market creation using Definer's fixed price Oracle model. If your token has a price feed from a third party Oracle like Chainlink, or it's listed on a DEX with good liquidity, the Oracle model will be changed to either the third-party Oracle, like Chainlink, or the DEX TWAP model, 
after you create the hodler market. Some projects prefer to use the definer's fixed price oracle model majorly under two conditions. One, their token doesn't have a price feed from a third-party oracle like Chainlink, and or two, their token has low liquidity and exchanges. I think there is a third condition for using the finer's fixed price oracle model, and that is when a project uses the hodler market for TGE or starts an ILO or an initial loan offering to raise capital through debt from the community and from the finer. For more information about the hodler market oracle model, please visit the definer docs in the description below. In this case, I will set up my price for this market, for this particular token, base token. So after you set the initial Oracle price for your token, you'll go on to the next section, which is where you will visualize the loan currencies for your hodler market right here. The lending market that you are creating is isolated which means that the crypto assets available therein remain within your market and the risks are self-contained. The loan currencies are the tokens that will be available in your market for borrowing and lending besides your base or collateral token. By default, you'll have USDT and USDC. People, your community, users, investors in general, will be able to use these stables as collateral to borrow your token and vice versa. If you want other loan currencies for your hardware market, you can go to our Discord server and propose a request after you've created your market. You can find the link to our socials in the description below. The last step in the hardware market creation or deployment process is setting the collateral factor for your base token. And before we dive right into that, I just want to mention that in some markets, some chains, I believe that DAI is also a default loan currency besides USDT and USDC. So you will have DAI as an option, as a stable coin in your market uh, for the loan currency section. Now, Moving on to the collateral factor. This collateral factor is equal to the maximum amount that a user can borrow divided by the total collateral value. In simple terms, the collateral factor is how much of the base token can be used as collateral to take out a loan. This factor will determine the borrowing power of the user on the platform. Select the collateral factor that better suits your needs and click on create a hodler market down here. You will see the details of your configuration in this new window and then you can click on confirm deployment. So when you're confirming the deployment you will pay a small gas fee. And what is happening behind the scenes is that a new market is being created specifically for your token. Basically the definer smart contract is copied for your token to have, to have all the capabilities for a lending market, as you can see on the screen on chain data. For your information, the definer contract has been audited three times by three different audit firms, including Trail of Bits, TAC Security, and Consensus Diligence. If you want to learn more about how it works, please read our white paper under the Smart Contract Factory section. You can find the link to the white paper in the description below. Now the next step to market uh, after market deployment is market initialization, which we'll cover in our next video. So stay tuned.